Walmart got new mystery power boxes. What's up guys, we're back with another video. Today, we are opening the new Walmart mystery power box. It's been so long since I've had one of these and opened it up. Like, I feel like it's been like a year or two. This is super exciting for me. This is actually what I started on getting back into the game. I opened those duels pack Kaiba slash Yugi things and these. So I'm super excited for this. First, we do have a giveaway. I will be giving away the blue eyes white dragon that we pulled from an LOB pack. All you have to do to win this thing is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think about the new mystery power box. If you like them, if you don't like them what do you think about this specific one versus old ones etc let's get into these things i have two of these so inside there's a, it's called mystery power box five booster packs one deck which is pretty interesting and one mystery pack i'm actually excited about the decks because i tend to actually duel with some of these structure decks sometimes and it's really fun maybe i'll actually make a video one day i've been saying this for a long time but maybe we'll make a dueling video so it's guaranteed to contain those these are the ones we can get with dimension of chaos we love that start us overdrive that's cool i think you can get lob in here it says up here i think yeah celebrate the holidays with the Yu-Gi-Oh! Mystery Box. Each box contains five assorted booster packs. One mystery booster. Look for rare Legend of Blaze boosters that are randomly inserted inside. Rare. They're everywhere, but it's still cool. On the front, what is this deck? They have a zombie deck, and then on the back, they have the Monarch deck. Let's see what we will get. They used to, uh, some of these like have been pretty popular. Like people used to buy these a lot, but I was super surprised that I was actually able to find it. I drove to several Walmarts to actually look for this, and we got lucky and found two of them. What will be inside the mystery box? We have, first of all, this is the most fun part is the reveal. Oh, Invasion of Chaos. Is that, I guess that's our random, is that a random pack? I don't know. We're about to find out. Invasion of Chaos. That's cool. We have, oh, Fists of the Gadgets. Okay. On to the next one. Here we go. We have Fists of the Gadgets. Oh, well, it started off nice with Invasion of Chaos, and now we have two Fists of the Gadgets. So th there's that. Um, uh, no, no, this is a joke. Come on. No, are these new mystery boxes a scam? Uh, that might be the title. Oh, LOB. Okay. So like, if you're like a current player, you're extremely angry. If you get these packs, these are terrible. And then, I mean, these are old packs. So they're not very good. I guess mystery boxes are more catered toward like the collector, etc. anyway, but let's see. Oh, that wasn't our mystery pack. Here's our mystery pack. Oh, cool. So we got LOB invasion. I mean, for me, that's fine. Three fists of the gadgets though. Like really like, come on. This is the gadgets might be like one of the worst sets that's come out recently. Oh, we have a deck. I, this feels like it's sealed. Oh, Mechanized Madness. This is, I can't escape this thing. The day you're seeing this is the day that this auction series comes out. You will understand, but I got this in the mystery box yesterday. I got one of these. It wasn't sealed like this. And then now today we get another one. So I'm definitely going to text Simo this. Uh, he's going to think this is hilarious. Uh, it's not so much to me. This deck's not that bad though. I think it has Solemn Strike. What is it? Solemn Strike? Yeah, Solemn Strikes in here. That's pretty good. Pot of Avarice, another good card. And then of course the Citadel. I mean, that card's crazy. So that's actually a really cool deck. I think it's not that new actually. So that's, that's pretty nice. Well, that was iffy. We'll, we'll open these up and then we'll get into the second one. Like We're going to start off with the Fist of the Gadgets. I'm excited uh, because the LOB and IOC, but I mean, the rest, I mean, I guess the random pack could be cool. So let's see. Yellow Gadget, Decon, and Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram. These feel very thick. These cards feel like extra thick for some reason. I don't know why. That is interesting. We've got th some thick cards going here. All right. Next Fist of the Gadgets. Let's go. Let's see what we can do. We have a uh, talk back Lancer. <laughs> is he going to talk back to us? Is it like, uh, like our parents or something? All right. The power hold, uh, brother of the fire fist gorilla and arch fiend manifestation. I don't, is there any good cards in the set? I'm not really sure. Finally, another fist of the gadgets. It's crazy that they gave us three of these, but I mean, it's a mystery box. What do you expect? <laughs> silver gadget. Cool. Brother of the fire fist bear. Gold, wow, gold gadget, silver gadget, yellow gadget. We got the Peacock. Brotherhood of the Fire Fists are, they're known for not being very expensive, or at least by me, no. <laughs> Let's open our mystery pack now. Let's see what we will get. The mystery is real. There's a mystery box with a mystery pack inside. Like, that's a lot of mystery. We have Vindred. Oh, is that a spell ruler? A spell ruler? Oh, okay. We're getting a lot of old school here. We'll like, I mean, that's good for us. I mean, we really like the old school. Vindred battle, what is that? Battle Lord. There we go. Now we, I'm actually excited about that deck. I mean, even though it's, you know what happened with it. I, I'm excited that we got that one. That's a cool deck. We have the Spear Cretan. Can we get Relinquished? Can we get Blue Eyes Tune Dragon? Something like that. We got the Toll. Gaia Power. 
painful choice. It's a painful choice to buy these mystery boxes or not. By the way, the mystery boxes were $29.99, so they're a little bit actually more expensive than usual. I think they're usually $25, sometimes even $20. Uh, actually, I think the ones that I used to buy on Walmart were $15 or something like that. It was like super low. They've gotten more expensive. They do have a deck in there though, so Upstart Goblin, that's a good pull. So keep that in mind. I mean, the decks are a little bit more valuable than like booster packs. Okay, Invasion of Chaos. We've got another box coming up. What will it be? Can we pull BL BLS out of here? I mean, we'll imagine. We've already done it before, though. Make sure you guys enter that giveaway for that blue eyes, though. Desk Kangaroo, Blasting the Ruins, and Getsu Fuma. Yeah, back when I got back into the game, I was opening the these a lot. Or not these specific ones, but mystery boxes, because I liked the legacy packs inside. And then they had a few other things that I would want. So I bought these, like literally like every time they popped up but like at that point in walmart walmart was putting those up like every single day it seems like they kept restocking them tie home we got the skull server we'll get another blue eyes we're giving one away might as well pull one mountain okay <laughs> we're not gonna pull it there cherubin hard armor raised body heat fire grass and armored starfish very cool on to the next mystery box let's see what we can get uh that one was uh the throwback packs are cool the deck was cool but three-fifths of the gadgets really kind of killed the vibe like if those were just like random current like not even current but just like a couple year old packs then it would be like if it was one fist of the gadgets that's one thing but that just the fact that it was three of them felt scammy you know what i mean <laughs> all right so so far we're not gonna say they're like a scam yet i guess that they're they are a scam because they give you packs that nobody wants usually but i feel like they're doing a little better this time than, than some of the other times first pack that we will get we have there's our deck let's not grab that first i guess we can grab the deck let's see the deck is uh, never mind i guess this isn't that maybe it's is this rare i don't know if you guys have opened these let me know what contents you got so we can kind of compare you guys getting mechanized madness as well because we have now gotten two so i have three of that deck total so if i want to play three of any copy i'm good then we have legend of blue eyes yet again another lob pack so we're two for two on lob two for two on mechanized madness then we have a oh stardust overdrive okay these are these are not a scam these are not a scam okay i, I would say they're not oh are these like half scam like where they give you half garbage packs we got another fist of the gadget if there's three of these in here I th I, this feels like a fist of the gadgets why why can't you just make the box decent like just put in like even code of the duelist i'm happier with that we've got really I just need to start predicting stuff because I don't even know. This is another Fist of the Gadgets, by the way. Yep. All right, cool. So our bottom tier, it seems, is Fist of the Gadgets. Then you get either Code of the Duelist. I mean, this is a terrible set now, too, but could have Firewall. I mean, Firewall is not very good now, but it's been eroded. Okay, that was a little bit weird. These are... I don't even know what to say about these. We did get the Stardust Overdrive, which is like... I mean, that's cool. Let's start off with the good old Fist of the Gadgets. What can we pull here? <laughs> We've gotten ourselves two Mechanized Madness. That's cool. Um, two LOB, a Stardust Overdrive. Those are all really exciting, but dadgum. Red Gadget. We got a whole gadget uh, set here. We got the Archfiends Awake. This card looks amazing. Wow, that card looks awesome. I love that. That looks really, really cool. Okay, that's a cool card. I mean, I didn't know that card was in there, so that's, that's pretty exciting. I like that. I've not opened a lot of Fist of the Gadgets. Like, nowadays, we open, like, you know, five cases of every set, so I've seen a lot of the cards. Back in this kind of time, Fist of the Gadgets and all that stuff, until 2019, I was not opening that much. I was opening maybe, like, 10 packs or something. Silver Gadget. We've got the Spool Code. Code Talker. A Morphage Leechery. And Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Elephant. This is why the set was bad. It was all Fire Fist. Fist of the Gadgets. Makes sense. But, yeah, that's why the set wasn't that good. Fire Fist is not that great. I don't think they've really ever been that great. We got the Tiger King, I mean, the Netflix documentary. We got the Bear, we got the Elf Face, Gorilla, and Ignis Heat, the True Draco Warrior. I feel like this card it was actually pretty good. So maybe at one point this was actually some of the value there. That brings us down to the final three packs. Should we open one of these? I feel like I really don't want to open this because maybe we'll open this. Actually, you know what we'll do? Because I have the one from the collection that's already out of the box, we're going to open this one. So you guys will get to see the opening. I get to keep those two sealed, which I probably might end up opening anyway. Maybe if I want to play a Machina deck. All right, let's see what's in here. This will be fun. You don't have to see it. We read it on the back, but it's cool to see the cards instead of just like read them. You know what I mean? That's what we're all about. Okay, so we have Machina Citadel. Pretty dang good card. Okay. Machina, the uh, Possessed Storage. Interesting. Air Raider. Machina Redeployment. So those are the, oh, those are foils as well. Unauthorized re Reactivation. This is supposed to be kind of new because there's five foils. This is a big one. Fortress is a good card. Gear Frame is a good card. Peacekeeper. Some of these were played in Dueling. Soldier. 
All right, Yuzukuri. There's a nice uh, kaiju. Pretty cool. Uh, lefty, righty and lefty driver. The death bot one and three. Good old death bots. We've got Machina Defender, Iron Call. Get us some staples. Limiter Removal, Ties of the Brethren, Pot of Avarice, Cosmic Cyclone. That's what I didn't mention earlier. That's a good one. Machina Overdrive, Cyber Summon Blaster. We got back to the front. Two of those is actually pretty good. And Solemn Strike is a very good staple added here. So very cool. There's Duel Links. If you guys want to play Duel Links, you guys know I mentioned every two seconds. Yeah, Eternity Codes. This, is, this was like last year. So yeah, it's a pretty new deck. Okay, now that we've seen those, what are we thinking, guys? Let me know in the comments. Is this a scam or is it not? Because, like, they're giving you stuff that they know it's, like, easier to sell if you don't know what it is, if you know what I mean. Because, like, if they knew they were, that they were selling Code of the Duelist and Fish of the Gadgets, people would not want to buy it. But because it's a mystery, you know, and you get all these Code of the Duelist and Fish of the Gadgets, that's kind of, like, how they sell the stuff. So that's kind of, like, the scam part of it. But they are giving out some packs that people do want, like, a Legend of Blue Eyes, Stardust Overdrive, stuff like that. We get a Cyverse Wizard, cool, Hackworm, and Samurai Skull. So, yeah, it's kind of a balance. I think it's sort of fair how they do it. It's still exciting. You got potential to get LOB. You got Stardust Overdrive. This one, this one's actually old, so we're going to leave that out. Unless they've just reprinted G, uh, 5Ds, which I don't think they have. Let's go with the LOB. Can we pull Blue Eyes? Last time we, we didn't do this one last, we pulled the Blue Eyes. We did it second to last. Let's see if that'll happen again. We got Metabat. The Green Phantom King. The Youthful King of the Forest. And a Larvis, a fast-moving bird-like creature. And then the Flower Wolf. Okay. Petit Angel, Succubus, Knight. Interesting. And the final pack of our two mystery boxes. This has been fun. I have missed these mystery boxes, to be honest. They're not the best use of your money. Keep that in mind. But they are very enjoyable and fun just because, like, just for the thrill. It's like a booster pack of booster packs. You know what I mean? Because the booster pack, you're like, what am I getting inside? In the box, you're like, what am I going to get inside? I could get all these random booster packs that I want. So it's pretty exciting when they do come out and you can try them out. Um, if you guys are interested, they're at Walmart, I think. We'll see if there's any left. You guys know how Walmart is these days with cards. So let's see if we can pull a ghost out of one random pack of mystery box. Reptilian. We got the Infernity Force. Time Passage. Spida Spida. The centering is absolutely horrible on these. Look at that. And. Ooh, the Mother Spider Woodland Archer Level Eater. These feel like European packs. They're very slick. These cards feel like European cards. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe for more epic content. Shout out to TCG, Trusted Cards, Stone Foe Show, Tomato Juice, Noah J, Stanley, Mike Nance, Mimic Gecko, Duelist Kingdom Cards, and Spanky McFarlane. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.